Hey, Kirsch Mackey here. In this video, I want to show you how I set up my desk so that I'm the most productive that I can be as an electrical and electronics engineer and Python developer. So let me walk you through my desk setup and all the stuff I use to be the most productive. Alright, just a quick note while we are talking about productivity, right? As a PCB designer, right now I've been really using a lot of Altium Designer to get my work done and my project tasks finished. So go to Altium free trial, you can just Google it. Uh, the link is in the description below if you want to use my special link. Check out my video series where I show you step by step. You can upload your files, check the files, the Gerber files, bill of materials, schematic, printed circuit board and Altium Free View will automatically pull up the view of your design and it's shareable as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the whole desk setup. Here we've got my uh, light that I use for better lighting just to make my face uh, show up more because I don't have lighting from here, but I do have lighting from natural lighting from over there and whatnot. And in here I've got my MacBook Pro. It's the M1 MacBook Pro that I use for my video editing and it, I needed an upgrade for a while now so that's why I got it uh, to help with my video editing. Here I have a 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro. I use this mostly pretty much for gaming and for productivity. So here I've got the dual monitor set up. There is, uh, there is this so I can move my arms here for both monitors. I can bring them closer, can rotate them up and down. And with the dual monitor set up, you know, you get your code on one side, your PCB layout on the next side, and you just do a lot of things. And if I want a third monitor, I can just lift this up if I want, but I'll just leave that alone. Next, there's this thing here. I was trying to get some extra space to hide my USB hub, which you see here, a lot of USB ports. A USB 3.0 and also just specific for power. Um, I was trying to like make the table not as messy uh, and so this little thing here got this from Target. Uh, I think it was like 10 bucks to put my stuff under there and keep it a little neat. There are some inspirational cards here that I read every morning so my success or failures do not define me they grow me you know very helpful stuff just to keep my mind focused and uh, on the positive so that I'm more productive. Here's a webcam by Logitech and this is really nice. It records in 4K and it's on this swivel arm thing. So this is really good when I need to do some kind of PCB design review and of course just daily webcam activities like having Zoom meetings with the manager and um, clients and whatnot. Here we got the Logitech keyboard. I like the LEDs, the whole like color, the color changing and all that stuff. And then there's this uh, mat here. It's a bit messy, but whatever, it's fine. This mat is good for the mouse pad and also for um, just keeping things steady. So I really like that. Here's my other iPhone, which I use for occasional recording when I need to get two angles. And then here is my Blue Yeti Nano Microphone. Now I also have a Blue Yeti, but it's in storage. I can't really find it right now. But yeah, that's my desk setup. And then let's take a look under the desk, right? Here I've got my little trash bin there. There's a box over there for my other lighting and for cable management underneath here. The wires are coming down, but at least there's this net, this fish net thing that keeps my modem in place and other cables and wires and boxes and stuff in check. And then these wires, I probably should like use zip ties around them, but that's what it is. And then you have your surge protectors, headphones, and then my gaming stick. So I use this because I'm mostly into fighting games and I always keep this connected to my, my Intel based MacBook Pro. So whenever I need to take a break, I just 
open up Fightcade and then start playing. And then of course you got the, the T. And also here is a, a new docking station for like charging my Apple Watch, my Apple AirPods, and also my iPhone all at the same time. And then of course my wallet and keys. I like to have them right next to me. A lot of times I just need to get up and go and I don't want anything slowing me down or I have to find keys and stuff. And then above here is some art that my kid did. Really like that. And this is the whole desk setup. Not super clean, but it works for me and I get a lot of stuff done. So I want to talk a little bit about productivity, why it matters and how I was able to get to this point because uh, only a few years ago, I'd say in 2018, I was making less than $24,000 a year. Okay, that's like almost no money. Uh, I was on food stamps, had a family at the time, I was, you know, um, and it was really tough, right? So I wasn't able to have even one external monitor. I hardly had any money to save and I didn't really save anything, but I was investing in further education even though I was already in school uh, on scholarships and whatnot because I had no money. <laughs> I grew up but pretty much broke the whole time. Um, but the more I invested in myself and like invested in my skills and work toward my dream, I found that more and more things started happening for me. And eventually I was able to buy my first microphone to record YouTube videos, to do uh, online courses. And then eventually I was able to upgrade to a, a Yeti microphone and uh, this Yeti Nano, although that's a bit of a downgrade, but it's more convenient for me if I'm traveling. And all of these things I got little by little. Each of these has a story. I didn't just get all of these new all of a sudden. No, I um, I built this setup over literally uh, four years worth of work and investments and stuff like that. These little things here and there. And now this is what I have here today. Now I like to make sure that my productivity is up by investing in better gear and so what I want to say is that when it comes to money and time I always buy things that I feel like are going to give me a 2x or 3x or 4x return on my investment I think of things in terms of investment not just cost but how is it going to benefit me to be more productive to save time to be more efficient to uh, do better work to be healthier to be a better peace of mind and that's how I think about these things. I have links in the description for where you can get uh, similar things that I have here. If you're curious about, you know, you're just not sure where to get the stuff, then check it out. Um, but for a lot of engineers, you know, we're we're fine getting, we're fine just working with the basics, the fundamentals. Once we have a regular mouse and nothing crazy, we can get our work done. But for me. As a video creator, a content creator, and also as an engineer and Python developer, or software engineer, I do some software engineering a little bit. Productivity matters and investing in things that make me more productive is really important to me. And that's been able to take me from making less than $24,000 a year uh, in, and then in a year and a half making more than like $85,000 a year and then beyond that okay um, so yeah uh, and then eventually earning six figures so yeah now there have definitely been ups and downs since then so don't think I'm a rich or anything but uh, I definitely grew up with a lot of hardships broke most of my life and now because I had invested the time in education and school in extra learning on top of that in better gear and also in just uh, focusing on how can I make this benefit me financially that's how I make my purchases I've been able to get to this point of uh, better success now it was rough you know and it's not it's not easy I'm not saying it is easy but it's not as hard as it used to be to be productive, to be successful, because I invest in myself and I invest in good 
products to make me more productive, all right? So thank you so much for watching. If you have uh, things that you like that have helped you to be more productive, uh, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below. Let us know if you have any productivity tips for and what type of gear you like to use for your engineering work desk setup as well. To maybe you like triple screens or maybe you like one big wide flat screen. I know a lot of uh, designers and software engineers use one curved monitor. So, you know, different, different things for different people. I might get a just one big wide monitor. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and peace.